Hello everybody and today we'll be doing dictionary from CyberSec Labs. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So it's pinging, so it's up. We can start an MMAP scan and we'll just scan for all ports. Now this took forever last time, so yeah, I'll bring you guys back when it's done, whenever that happens. Alright, and that's finally finished and that took over 30 minutes, so yeah, so let's get started. Um, so we do see port 53, um, we see port 88, we see SMB, um, we see LDAP. We should also add dictionary.csl to our Etsy host file. So we can come over here, and as you can see, I already added it, but all you have to do is type in the IP address, space, and then dictionary.csl. And once you have that, um, we can start taking a look at this. So if you guys didn't see the last video where I did brute, um, we can come over here on hack tricks and take a look at their active directory methodology. So we can come over here and take a look. And as you can see, um, so yeah, we can first take a look at the shares. Um, we can just list the shares out with SMB client dash L for the list. And then we can just do the IP address 172.334. Wait, nope. It's, I forgot the IP address. What was it? 31.34. And we can supply no password and we see nothing's here. Um, so uh, we can keep moving on. We can try to find out some usernames, but first let's enumerate LDAP. So we can just copy this. Um, as for the IP address, 172.31.34. And um, we can let that run. But after that, we can try to enumerate some users with Kabrut. Um, so yeah, and you see this is done, but we don't really get much out of it here. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting. So let's start with Kabrut. It's in my op folder. If you don't have it, um, like in last video, just search up Kabrut. And you can just come over here to GitHub. You can come over here to releases. And you can just download um, Kabrut Linux AMD64. So once you have that, just run it like this. Kabrut um, AMD64 user enum dash D for domain, which is dictionary.csl. And then it probably wants a username list. Um, so yeah, we can grab that on, where is it? User share sec list. I'm gonna use the same word list we used last video, uh, which is username zero ten million. This one right here. If you don't have sec list, you can just do app install sec list. And I probably did something wrong again. Oh boy. Do we need dash dash dc um, dictionary dot csl? And we'll let that run, and this is probably gonna take some time. Uh, last time it took me like almost 10 minutes, but yeah, I'll just let that run out. And so yeah, I'll see you guys when it's done. All right, and it's finally done, and that took about 10 minutes, I guess. Um, but we do have a username, which is Isabel. So with this username, we can now come over here, knowing one of several usernames. We can do this ASREP roast again with get MP users. As you can see, it's right here. So why don't we get started with that? If you don't have this, you can just um, do uh, pip3 install in packet. Or you can download it on GitHub. But um, yeah, get MP users. And then we have to specify the domain, which is dictionary.csl dash users file and I guess we can make that users file because over here it does and I don't think we actually need that but it's fine we can just do that we can just make users and we can just do Isabel and I won't put in administrator so let's just do get mp users and we can do um, dictionary.csl and we can also do dash users file which is users dash format we can do John and we can do out file that to hashes that's a asrep roast and we'll let that run it's not out file it's, um oh it's output file okay so we'll do output file nope it's not output file it's just it is output file hmm. did we do something wrong i'll just copy this and see what that does and i'll edit it 
So we can change this to John. Oh wait, no, I don't think we're supposed to get anything. It's right here. I'm sorry. Oops. Yeah, it's right here. Sorry. Uh, so we it so it did work. And we can specify a wordless user share wordless rocky.txt. And we can do this hashes file. And we'll let that run. Um, should be pretty quick. It's finally done. The password is June 2013. So using this, we can try to evil win our M into it, um, which is 172.31.34. Username, which is Isabel. Um, and we do password, which is June 2013. We'll see if that works. And we can also try PS exec into it if this doesn't work. Uh, if this would load. Come on. If you don't have evil WinRM, you can just do uh, gem install evil WinRM, and that should work for you. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Um, so maybe we can try to ps exec into it, which is Isabel colon password, which is June 2013 at 172.31.34. See, it actually does not work. Okay, so um, none of this works, but we do see that the password is kind of like the uh, month year combination, which a lot of people do because it might be like you have to reset your password every uh, like one month, two months, or something like that, or every season. So people might get lazy and just do like June 2013 and July 2013 or something like that. Um, so maybe we can try to change it to something. Maybe we can do it right now, it's September um, 2020. Maybe that will work, um, but it probably doesn't. Yeah, and we can actually try to keep guessing this, and hopefully it's one of them. But we can also try to log into some other things. Um, we can, if we come back over here to our end map scan. Uh, I'm just waiting for this to finish to see if it works or not. And as you can see, it does not work. Okay, so what else can we log into? Um, because it has to be something. Uh, so yeah, 53, I don't think you can log in with that. You can't log in with this, this, or anything, really. Um, so we're not able to log in with uh, WinRM, Evil WinRM, and we can't log in with SMB. There's really nothing else left except for Microsoft RPC. Now, you can log in to Microsoft RPC. If you don't know how to do that, you can just come over here on Hacktricks and you can just search RPC Client, um, and you can log in with that. Yeah, so you can log in with these RPC client. Okay, uh, not really sure what it is. RPC client dash u Isabel and then IP address 3134. And that works for some reason. Okay, and we're here finally. Um, I had to check back on some notes. Um, but all right, so uh, list users we can try to list the users with the enum dumb users, intermediate domain users. Uh, so we have administrator guests, um, this uh, Kerberos ticket granting thing. Uh, we have Isabel, and we have this C, and we have this backup Isabel. So we can just add this into our users file. Um, so then users, and we can just add that down here, and we can just add um, get C this person. Uh, just copy and paste. And down here we can also add this backup Isabel um, and then now that we have this we can try to use crack map exec and if you don't have that you can just do app install crack map exec so what this will do is it will try out a bunch of these um, first we have to specify a service and an IP address and then we can add a users file and we can also specify a password which was June 2013 so um, you would try every single user on this list and try to log in um, with that password. And we see that it does have that user Isabel, which we already know. Uh, we can try a list of shares on it and we don't really have too much too interesting here. Uh, and we can't really log in with it because we don't see that pawn thing. So since it is June 2013, again, we mentioned that it was the month year combination, which is kind of common. Uh, so we have to really find that cr so like we're thinking that maybe they'll keep doing that and maybe they'll have like something like uh, I don't know July 2020 or something like that 
so we can keep guessing that we can try to find a word list to do that i personally didn't find any word list to do it so i actually wrote out my own python script to do it for me so we just vim script.py um i'm gonna turn syntax on and we can just do uh bin python 3 and this is a really simple python script you don't have to be great at it i suck at python and i still did it so we're just gonna have years equals and because this password was uh, June 2013 I believe we just do everything after June 2013 so we'll make a list called years and a list will just hold a bunch of values for us so we have 2013 I'm just gonna have 2012 just to be safe and then we'll have months so we'll need a 12 months and I have to write all that out um, okay so we have this list now and now what can we can do we can use a for loop so for months for month and months so this pretty much means for month and this we're setting this variable right here month and it's pretty much every single thing in this list so loop through this for is a loop and it goes through this entire list over here this months list and each month this month is the single value so it'll go to january and it'll go to february and it'll go to march and when it goes to each of these values it'll perform a thing that we tell it to do inside of this for loop and months just specifies the list and we'll also want to do for year in years so this is another for loop for years and again year will be the each single value year in this entire list so we'll go through every single one here so it'll go to this entire list and it'll also go through it this entire list and what do we want to do we we'll want to print out uh, month plus year so um, what this is doing is it's going through every single month over here and it's taking that value and it's um, concatenating it with the year so it'll go to january 2012 and it'll go ja and it'll go january 2013 uh, january 2014 and once it goes through all that it goes to february and it keeps going through all these values so on and so forth it's pretty simple and once we're done with that we can try to run this script.py and as you can see it just throws out this word list for us as you can see january 2012 13 14 15 16 all the way to 2021 for every single month so we can just run the script again. We'll output the um, value. So it's going to be the entire word list into passwords. Okay, so cat passwords. You see, that's our list. So now we can just use crap map exec smb172.31.34. And we can specify our users. And we can also specify our passwords as the password list. So we'll go through each of these users and try all these passwords. As you can see, it's doing that right now. Uh, let's hope it doesn't take too long, but it's going through the first user and it's now just doing Isabel and I keep going and we have a match for Isabel. Okay, so um, this it doesn't keep going, it just stops. So maybe we can add Isabel at the end of the list. Um, so we'll do that. So it stops once it finds one that works. So we'll have to add that at the bottom. And we can just let this run again. Again, it's going through all these passwords with the same username. And we'll let all that run. Hope that one works. As you can see, it's going through the entire list. And we do have one. Backup, the backup Isabel has a password of October 2019. So maybe we can try crap map exec um, WinRM. So we can see if we can log in with WinRM. Pass, uh, the username is backup Isabel. It's with the password October 2019. Oops, sorry, I forgot to specify an IP address 172.31.34. And that should tell us if we're able to log into it or not. Because we don't see that pawn thing here, it probably means we can't log in with PS exec, but we are able to log in with um, WinRM. And you will see this pawn thing over here if we're able to log in with PS exec. So let's log in with evil WinRM. For IP address, we'll specify 192.31.34. Username, we'll specify backup Isabel. Password, we'll specify October 2019. So we're done. Okay, so we're here. 
Um, we can do who am I slash all to check the groups and privileges we have. Nothing too interesting in the groups. Nothing too interesting in the privileges. So why don't we upload something like um, WinPs? So we can just do because we're in WinRM. We'll just do upload opt Windows privilege escalation, and I'll upload my WinPs. We'll run that, and now we'll run our WinPs.exe. And I'll run through a whole lot of things and see what we can possibly use to escalate our privileges. Um, so yeah, I'll run through a lot of things, uh, system information, and if I'll find anything, as you can see now it's running through a lot of stuff. Um, and come up over here, try to look at it as, as it goes. Uh, all right. So here we go. Running WinPs. Um, nothing interesting over here. And keep looking. Nothing too interesting there either. Mm, we have users information. So again, these are the current groups. Um, and keep looking at this. And probably went through a lot more. So yeah, users information. Those were the groups. Some auto logon credentials, but we don't exactly have a password. Uh, we can keep going. A password policy over here. And we see some process information, services information. I doubt we'll be able to do anything with this. Um, we can keep looking down past all of these. Uh, modifiable services. You cannot modify any service. DL hijacking. I doubt we'll be able to do anything there applications information okay and it's done so we can go back over there um, come on all right and we can look through all these network information um, listening ports nothing too interesting there uh, firewall windows credentials we have windows vault credentials manager we can keep going through all of this browsers information it's red and Firefox credentials exist okay so this is kind of similar to what we did in the gatekeeper room on try hack me so if you remember that where the, we did the buffer overflow and the privilege escalation what we did was we downloaded the Firefox files and then we use a tool called Firefox decrypt to find out the password there so that's very interesting to us we'll copy this directory And we'll download some of these files. So we'll download, if I remember all the files, key for .db. Um, downloaded it, and we'll download logins.json file. Also download that cert9.db. And we have one last file, if I remember what it is. Let me just take a look. Um, do we have cert9.db? Yes, we do. So what am I missing? I have one more. I forgot what it was. We have key for um, this one. And keep looking. I forgot what it was. I think it might be this um, cookies file, I think. So I download that. Okay, so it is the cookies file. And we'll download it, all of it. And get over here. We can exit out of this. LS will make a directory for Firefox and we'll move the cert9 cookies key for logins into that Firefox directory. And now we can go over to our opt folder and cd the Firefox decrypt. I'll leave the download in the description below. And we just do Python 3 Firefox decrypt and all we need to do is specify the directory for the file. For those four files, so we can include the folder, which is Firefox. It should go in there, master password, we can just press enter. And as you can see, we do receive four different passwords. So we can try to log in with the administrator now. So let me just um, vim passwords. Uh, and we'll add these passwords to it. So, and we can use crack map exec to see, oops, to see which one works as for administrator, because one of these passwords might be it. And we can save this to a file. And now we can do Crack map exec um, oops, SMB one seven two thirty one three four, and then we can specify users for administrator. 
and we'll do dash p for password and we can just include that passwords list and it should go through all those passwords and as you can see this password did work uh, and it's pond as well so that means you can log in using ps exec and to do that we'll need administrator colon the password at 172.31.34 doing that we're able to log in using ps exec we do who am i for anti authority system and we can head over to that administrators file and also head over to that cd administrator and we head over to desktop and over there we have your system flag right over here so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up um it was really really interesting but i messed up a bunch of times i forgot a lot of things but yeah if you did enjoy it please leave a like if you didn't enjoy it make sure to press that dislike button twice so yeah i'll see you guys next time